Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Hollow and welcome back to the channel. Today I am coming at you guys with another Call of Duty Advanced Warfare Best Class Setup video. Now today's Best Class Setup video, we're going to be taking a look over at the Dragonfire, the Blunderbuss, the brand new, the brand new legendary weapon. Now obviously you can use this class setup which, you know, with whichever Blunderbuss you guys got. But if you guys got the legendary, I would obviously recommend that one because it's probably one of the best favorites out there. But anyways, we're going to get into this class setup and the special thing about this is that this class setup is going to have two primary weapons because the, the, the blunderbuss you simply cannot run that weapon by itself i mean you can but i really really don't recommend it simply because if you shoot you miss or you get a hit marker you're gonna spend about four seconds to be exact reloading that weapon and yeah you're gonna die so you're gonna need an additional weapon to kind of like balance that out and help you out there but anyways getting into this class setup here we have the primary weapon which is going to be either the blunderbuss or the stg 44 it all depends i put the stg 44 because you're most likely you know are going to encounter long distance situations you know long distance fights in this game that you are you know close quarter fights so the primary go ahead and put it as the stg 44 and then you put a foregrip on that weapon and that is all or you guys can put whichever attachment you guys like it doesn't matter it's whatever suits you guys now if you guys want a best class setup video for the stg 44 you guys can go ahead and check out my best class setup video for that weapon as well it is absolutely insane and then we're gonna go down into the secondary weapon and here we have the blunderbuss variant and i chose the dragon fire because it is absolutely lovely now this weapon does have plus one damage and it's probably the weapon with the most damage in the game if not probably the top weapon because i know there might be one more weapon with 20 damage i'm not sure it could be one of the bulldog shotguns but anyways as you guys can see plus one damage leaves it at 20 and then negative one handling but has plus one mobility so you have 17 mobility the good thing about this weapon is that it has great damage and great mobility which you'll be extremely quickly with and the bad thing is that it has no range like the range sucks the range is really really bad you literally have to be if you're more than like five yards from somebody you won't kill them you'll get a hit marker so make sure you guys are extremely extremely close and do not rely too much on the hip fire okay you can get kills with a hip fire but don't rely too much on that so now here in this class setup you also see that i don't have an attachment for this weapon and that's because i didn't unlock it by this time but obviously you're gonna want to go ahead and put on your advanced rifling and then you're gonna have to probably just take out one of the perks or or extra abilities or score streaks that i have in this class setup because at the time of me recording this gameplay i did not have advanced rifling to put on the weapon so then here we have wild cards one two and three perk one greed for two perk ones perk three greed for two perk threes and overkill so we can have two primary weapons again guys you're gonna need to have two primary weapons if you're gonna run with the blunderbuss you're gonna need it it's gonna help you out a lot as you guys have seen these gameplays i shoot if i miss or get a kill i swap right back until i get to a safe zone and then i'll reload my blunderbuss unless i know 100 sure that there's nobody around and then we have perk one we have lightweight and low profile lightweight so we can move faster you're gonna want to need speed with the blunderbuss put on lightweight you're gonna need it is recommended 100 percent you're gonna move extremely fast and you're gonna love it that's one thing you're gonna love you're gonna love the damage and the speed of this weapon so lightweight and then low profile so you can you know obviously be invisible to uavs and tracking rounds and then you're gonna have fast hands for the perk two slots because you're gonna want to reload while sprinting that's gonna help you out a lot especially with the blunderbuss and you want to be able to swap weapons as fast as possible Possible. and of course use exo abilities and exo launchers quicker you want to be very very speedy with this class setup here guys so breakthrough we got scavenger so you don't run out of bullets and blast suppressor so you are invisible on the minimap when performing exo moves and exo ability exo overclock hands down 1000 percent make sure you guys use this exo ability you're gonna need speed with the blunderbuss you have lightweight and you hit that exo ability exo overclock i promise you, you're gonna be like the freaking flash it is absolutely insane and then we have the uav but again if you put the, the actual attachment advanced rifling on the blunder, on the blunderbuss, I'm sorry, which I told you you should, you might not be able to put all these you know perks and score streaks. Just risk one of them. If I were to tell you which one to risk, I would just risk the UAV, especially if you're playing TDM. You know that's what I would do, or just risk you know the uh, the the scavenger. Who cares? But definitely, definitely try this class setup out guys let me know down in the comments i believe it is a very very solid and fun class setup to use obviously if you guys don't have the scg 44 put whichever weapon you have you know whichever primary weapon you guys like it doesn't matter so this is going to be my best class setup for the brand new blunderbuss shotgun guys if you guys use this class setup as is make sure to leave me a comment down below telling me that you did or if you guys just you know changed or made some tweaks here and there let me know down in the comment section below now if you guys are new to the channel and do enjoy the content please feel free to subscribe i would love to have you guys part of the hollow point nation and if you guys enjoy the video don't forget to drop a thumbs up if we can pass 200 likes on this video guys it'll really really mean a lot to me guys so again thank you all so much for tuning back catch you guys later